Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to simplify this algebraic expression into the simplified form. So if we have 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 50. And here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. Uh, so it means that uh, we need to show all of the working on this paper. So here in this problem, we solve uh, this for uh, two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods. Uh, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Uh, now here uh, we start our first method. So in first method, uh, here we need to focus in the exponents of uh, numerator as well as the denominators. Uh, so that uh, first you have the numerator the exponent of this term is 8 uh, so we break this 8 as 5 plus 3 and minus uh, if you see here the exponent of this term is 7 and we write it as 8 to the power of 5 plus 2 and it is divided by this is 2 to the power of 15 and and we write 15 as 3 multiplied by 5 okay so after that uh, here we use this exponent law if we have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law here uh, we will just break the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as 8 to the power of 5 multiplied by 8 to the power of 3 minus similarly in this case we have 8 to the power of 5 multiplied by 8 to the power of 2 and it is divided by uh, here you see that mm, uh, this is uh, in the exponent of 2 we have the product of two numbers so that here we cannot use this law here in the norm in the denominator term uh, we use this exponent law if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n so in the, the denominator term we apply here this exponent law so according to this exponent law uh, we move this 3 inside the term so it will be written as 2 to the power of 3 and its whole exponent is equals to 5 so further in the next step, uh, here we need more simplifications if you focus in the numerator terms. So you, so you see here we have 8 to the power of 5 be the common term and we get the remaining values are here we get 8 to the power of 3 minus 8 to the power of 2 divided by here we know that uh, 2 cubed equals to 8. Okay, so we write it here. Uh, we know this step 2 cubed equals to 8. So we replace this 2 cubed equals to 8 and it will be written as 8 to the power of 5. So further in the next step you see here this 8 to the power of 5 is cancelled out by this 8 to the power of 5 and we get the remaining values are 8 cubed minus 8 square. So here uh, we again break the exponent of this term. So we have the, a, the exponent of this term is 3. So we write it as 8 to the power of 2 plus 1 minus 8 square. Uh, and now here we again apply the above exponent law. So for this we uh, break this exponent and we write it as 8 square multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 minus 8 square. Uh, so here because calculator is not allowed in this problem so that's why i can uh, solve this problem uh, by step by step solution i can give you a step by step solution so i can explain each and everything in this problem okay so here you see that uh, if we take common uh, you see that 8 square be the common term so when we take common 8 square we get the remaining values are here we get 8 to the power of 1 minus here when you take common this 8 square so we get here 1 only and now in the next step uh, here we have uh, this is 8 square and 8 square is equals to 64 and here we have 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 so further in the next step uh, here we need to multiply these two terms uh, so here I can just uh, direct multiply these two terms 
and here you see that we have 7 fours are 28 uh, we write 8 and carry 2 7 6 are 42 42 plus 2 becomes here 44 so uh, finally we have uh, the final simplified form of the given question that is 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 is equals to 448 so this is the our final answer of this question which we get here from first method uh, and now here uh, we move forward and we again solve this problem uh, for second method so now in second method uh, here uh, first we need to uh, copy down the given question statement here uh, so that we have the given question statement is 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15. So now here in the second method uh, here we need to just focus in the denominator term. So uh, you see here in the denominator term we have this is 2 to the power of 15 and we write it as 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 so we write this 15 as 3 multiplied by 5 and now here in the next step uh, we apply here this exponent law if you have a to the power of m multiplied by n it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law we move the exponent 3 inside the term and it will be written as 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 is divided by this is 2 to the power of 3 and its whole exponent is 5. So now here in the next step uh, you see here we have uh, uh, here we again break these two exponents and we write it as 8 to the power of 5 plus 3 and we write this as 8 to the power of uh, uh, 5 plus 2 uh, and it is divided by this 2 cubed is equals to 8 so we write it as 8 to the power of 5 and now here we need to break this fraction and we write it as 8 to the power of 5 plus 3 divided by 8 to the power of 5 minus in this case we have 8 to the power of 5 plus 2 divided by 8 to the power of 5 and now here we use this exponent law if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m minus n according to this exponent law we need to move the exponent of denominator term to the upside it will be written as a to the power of 5 plus 3 minus 5 in this case we have a to the power of 5 plus 2 minus 5 so this minus 5 plus 5 are cancelled out by each other from both of these cases and we obtain here 8 cubed minus 8 square so we again take common 8 square from both of these values and we get the remaining values are 8 minus 1 and here you see that 8 square equals to 64 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 and now we multiply these terms 7 4s are 28 we write 8 and carry 2 7 6 are 42 42 plus 2 becomes 44 so this is our final answer which we get here from second case so from both of these cases we get the same answer and this is the final answer and